morning Tom it's Sunday morning and uh, I've just come for a, a ride down into Bridlington on the south side I was going to go and do a video on the Gansey girl on the North Pier but we're leaving that till probably next week because uh, I'd like would like to come in and uh, and uh, come with me so I'm down on the harbour here on the south side it's a very chilly morning but the sun's trying to peep through and we'll have a walk along the harbour and have a look at some of the boats so This is just looking up towards the beach. So we'll have a walk. Walk on the harbour. So this is looking up towards the uh, the Spa Royal Hall and the Spa Theatre. Had plenty. Of of good nights in there in the past and it's again looking up towards the beach tides out at the moment let's get rid of me that's better Sea is nice and calm. Well, we have various uh, craft and little vessels all tied up in the harbour. We have the Yorkshire Bell over here, the pleasure boat. Our next door to where is Isabella RM. Get a lot of people fishing off this uh, off this wall just here. So So, looking down on the Yorkshire Bell, this is an old, an old ship now, it's, uh, it must be 70 years old. And she'll take you out on trips in the, especially in the summertime when all the visitors are here, and they'll go round up towards Bempton Cliffs to see the seabirds. There's one up there for sale. What are they asking for that? Six thousand four hundred fifty pound. So the harbour's full.
full of boats. Cross Bridlington, along with Scarborough and Whitby, noted for its uh, fishing days. Not so much now, it's mostly shellfish I think they go for now, but here's one, the S1 Wren. And we've got Maya Blue. You see it's got uh, lobster em emblem on there and a crab one down here. Then we've got Pisces up here. And this one, Gen Genesis Rose. And they've got all the crab pots and lobster pots up there. Oops. It's a while since I've been down here actually. Um, and uh, it's quite refreshing to see all these craft in. It's a fine looking, fine looking vessel this one. I'm surprised there's nobody working on them, doing a little bit of titivating or whatever. There's a, our Helena, sort of a catamaran style boat. Yeah, it's wonderful to see them all. It's very quiet on here, I'm on my own really. There's nobody else walking about up here. Um, I thought a few would be out today with it being a fine day. Got a hustler. Some lovely names. This one here, Hetty Harvel. Lady of Lundy. Seabird, probably looking for something to eat. I thought he was limping a bit earlier on, but I think I think he's okay now. Only a youngster. Just a pan round up towards the town.
very quiet and peaceful it really is the big building over there is called Ebor Flats Ebor is the Roman for York and it was very very controversial when it was built in the 1970s or was it I think it started in the late 60s actually uh, it went down very badly but I think as time goes on you get used to seeing it Well, I've come across a nice selection here, Tom, another catamaran type called the 4Js over there and Endeavour, Sophie Dawn all moored up Yeah, I'm quite surprised there's there's nobody sort of doing a bit of Sunday work, but anyway, probably all gone to the pub. <laughs> Kimberly. Olivia P over there There's nothing uh, Ship wise actually much out at sea um, Very quiet And a few more here. Marvellous how they get them all moored up so close together. Now oh, there is a bit of activity over there, the forklift. Just over the other side is the uh, the pleasure pirate ship moored up. Yeah, there's some activity over there moving the fish boxes about on the forklift trucks so there we go bit of a look around Brid Harbour on the south side And this fella in phase by me being up close to him. Just sat there. Quite content. I say there's nothing much out on the horizon. So just a, a scan round from the sea wall, say from the south of the town.
where we're, where we where I'm scanning now is up to where the north pier will be, where I'll go next week to get the Gansey Girl statue. So there we go. That's Bridlin Harbour for you. See you later. Well, this is the uh, Anchorman sculpture, Tom, um, by Ronald Falk, the uh, the guy who did the sheep on the Scarborough roundabout, which I videoed last year. Twenty fifteen.